Hey, raccoon. Well, let's see. Which one are you? Huh? I got some pecans right here. I got some pecans. I got pecans, pecans, pecans. You still got two pecans down there on the table I can see from right here. You don't want no more pecans? Hmm? Were you the one I seen out there earlier? Hmm? As close as I'm coming for right now. I know you don't want me to get real close. If I get too close to that raccoon, I might goose that raccoon. <laughs> I put the goose on that raccoon's butt. Hmm? How close could I get? Hmm? How close can I get to you? see any eyes out there. I can hear something in the bushes. Might be the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Three or four nights ago. I don't know if y'all believe in ghosts or not. I'm going to sit down and tell a short story. <clears throat> I do not know if y'all believe in ghosts or not. But, um, there's a raccoon right there. But the other night I was outside here and it was dark. And I did not have my camera turned on. No light, the lights wasn't turned on. And, uh, I get, I'm getting the chill bumps right now. And another raccoon in the background too. There's another raccoon way back down there. But I was outside and it was dark like it is now. About three o'clock in the morning, and you know, I didn't have any lights turned on. And I was walking around in the. Uh... Hold on, let me get these raccoon something right here. Come here, here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here, don't fall on your head. Here. That's a pecan right there, you know what that is? That's a pecan, might not be any good. These pecans, I had to cull these pecans. Some of them are good, some of them are not good. Oh, raccoon in the background don't want to come up here. Come here, come here, come here. You see how that one run off? He just ran wide open. Okay, let me finish this story. I don't know if y'all believe in ghosts. Oh, but the other night, I was outside and only that one light was on right there. And um, I was walking over here. I was walking in the dark. I was walking in the dark. And uh, um, all of a sudden I got chill bumps running from my head to my toes. And uh, I turned my head to the left a little bit. To the left or to the right? I think I turned my head to the left. And then, uh, as I did, there was something floating in the air right beside me. It was a black shadow, kind of. It was nighttime, so everything was black. But it was darker than the night was. You know, it was nighttime, but whatever, whatever I saw, just for one second, three seconds right there, was twice as three times as black as the nighttime was. And uh, I'm getting chill bumps right now thinking about it. But um, I don't believe in ghosts. I do not believe in ghosts. But 
I, uh, I'm not sure what I saw. Like I say there, I was, uh, is that one eye? I think that might be one eye right there. But I'm going to tell you what, I was scared for a few seconds. It, like I say, it was nighttime in the middle of the dark. I couldn't see, you know, three inches ahead of me. And, uh, That's one eye right there. That raccoon's got one eye. Cyclops. But yeah, man, I was I was so scared for a few seconds right there. Chill bumps went from my head to my toes. My arms had chill bumps. And I just felt nervous for a second because when I was I was walking, I was as what happened was I was walking, it was nighttime and it was dark. And I was in the woods, the bushes a little bit. That tree shaking right here, that raccoon coming down. But um, I turned my head to the left, and then when I turned my head to the left, there was something floating in the air right beside me. It was about two foot from me. And uh, that's one eye. And it just scared me. I don't know if y'all believe in ghosts. That's the second time I've seen what I believe was a ghost. But I do not believe in ghosts. But both times, the first time I seen what I thought was a ghost was in 1960, 67, 67, 1967. I thought I seen a ghost or something other. I think of every time I think about that from 1967 until now. I get chill bumps and it just it's just amazes me what I thought I saw. The first time I thought I saw a ghost, I was inside of my house. We lived on the river. I was in we I slept in the second floor. We had a two story house. And um uh, I was sleeping in the second second uh sec on the second floor my bedroom was. And I wanted to go downstairs to the kitchen and get something to drink, go to the bathroom. So I was at the top of the stairs, and when I got to the um, second step, I, was, I took two steps. And uh, and then, uh, come here, that's Mama Raccoon right there. That's Mama Raccoon. But anyway, I was, I was 1967 there. I was at the top of the steps. Can we walk down, go to the kitchen, and get me some water, and get go to the bathroom? And um, it was middle of the night time. I don't have any idea what time it was. But I took one step going down the stairs, and all of a sudden, at the very bottom of the stairs, there was a figure standing there. And. Uh, it, it was just appeared. It, it was just there, and so I was froze. I was scared because I was real young, sixty-seven, nineteen sixty-seven, and um, I uh, I didn't ever go downstairs. You know, I stood there. I don't know how long I stood there, but all of a sudden I blinked and it was gone. But uh, I could see it. It was a dark shadow. But the shadow had another shadow behind it, kind of. It was a shadow on, and a, a shadow and a shadow together. And um, it was shaped something like a human being, you know. It was a... It could have been a human being, but I don't know who it would have been, not unless it was a burglar inside the house. But Mom and Daddy and my other brother was inside the house. You know, there was a house full of people in the house. But I believe it was some kind of a... I don't want to say ghost because I don't really believe in ghosts. Um, it was something other, but it scared me. But like I say, two or three nights ago, right here, something happened again that was just as traumatic in my life that I would think about for a while. And like I say, I was walking right here. I was walking through the dark right there. I didn't have any lights on. I was just walking through the trail. And, uh,. All of a sudden, on my, <clears throat> my left-hand side right here, 
about a foot from my head, there was a black object that was twice as black as nighttime was, you know, three times as black as nighttime. And um, it was there for, you know, one, three seconds, you know, five seconds, something like that. Because I turned my head, I seen it, and then I, I had, I had chill bumps run up and down me when what happened was I had chill bumps run from my head down to my toes and my arms, everything. I was just, I could feel something other. I was just, I could feel it. And then when I turned my head to the left, there was something about, you know, a foot from my eye, a foot from my eyes, foot from my face, two foot, whatever. And it was there for three to five seconds, you know, something like that. And it was just three times as black, you know, as regular nighttime. And it was, you know, it's probably, I'd say maybe a foot tall and six inches wide, a little black. Um, hey, raccoon, you sneaking up on me? I'm telling a ghost story. Here, you come right here. Come on. Come on. And, uh, but I'm getting chill bumps right now. Come on. Come on. Get up in there. There's plenty of stuff in there for you. I put some pecans in there, and I put some other stuff in there. Pecans, 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 hard food, hard food, hard food. You better eat some of that hard food to start with. Hmm. I think I'm going to put some of this uh, food down, because that other raccoon was one eye. I hadn't seen one eye in about two months. I was hoping one eye would come out, because... One eye is scared, nervous of me, but he, he will come out. I'm gonna get some more food right here. Oh, my back is killing me. Come here. Here. Let's walk down here. Come here. Here. Right here. Come here. Here. I'm gonna look and see if I see any ants in it. Come on, get up in here. Come on. Where did one eye go to? Come on. Come on. A raccoon, that other raccoon scared. That other raccoon was scared. But uh Yeah, I'm not I don't I, I'm not scared of ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. Well, I'm scared of ghosts, but I don't believe in them. Because I used to hunt all the time. I used to go out and hunt raccoons in the middle of the night time. I used to hunt deer, go out, you know, before daylight and go out, you know, walk through the swamps and the woods and all in the mountains, all in the swamps and down the, down the, down by the river. And what well, I'd, you know, I'd walk out and I'd walk out in the middle of the woods and I'm not scared of, um, A lot of things. I'm scared of, you know, some things. I'm scared of certain snakes. I'm scared of bears and tigers and lions and all that good stuff. But we have bears here, but they're small bears, and they, they'll run when they see you. I used to hunt bear in Georgia. But, yeah, um, I had a little ghost story. It's kind of screwed up the way I told it. But, anyway, I'm going to stop this video. Stop.